Good morning, Oklahoma, and welcome to Cow-Calf Corner. This week's topic is reproductive efficiency in the cow herd, and we kind of come at this from different angles as we discuss it this week, and we, we follow up on some stuff from a few weeks ago when we address that weaning time is often the best day of the year to capture a lot of cow herd data and do some basic cowboy math and take a look at what kind of return we're getting from those cows that serve as the production factory in our cow-calf operation. And so we take that data and we go a step further thinking about certain things that it indicates to us this week relative to our topic. Reproductive efficiency over time, good times and bad in the cattle business, is a very economically important trait. Now, depending on when you market your calves and what the markets look like, we could argue that it is the most economically important trait in a beef cow-calf operation. Uh, we know we've got the annual cost tied up in those cows. That calf we're gonna sell from them every year is our return on that investment and our input of time and expense. And so right now we look at a time in this business when cow inventories nationally are low and we know prices are robust for all categories of cattle. But if we still take a look at some basic things like the percentage of our cows that are actually raising a calf to weaning each year, it's informative to us relative to some decisions we can make in the future regarding management, maybe bull selection and genetics. We know that reproductive traits in general are pretty low in heritability, which means they're largely influenced by environment. The last couple years in Oklahoma, we've had some pretty challenging environment and climate issues to work through. And those calves that we're weaning right now are really going back to that summer of 2022 when we were in a pretty significant drought. But nevertheless, looking at those numbers, holding our cows accountable, thinking about the percentage of them that raised the calf to weaning, maybe even digging into that a little bit deeper and thinking about the percentage of our cows mature weight that they are weaning off can help us make better management, maybe nutrition decisions at some point down the road. Uh, from a genetic standpoint, the next time we're buying bulls, there is a whole number of different genetic predictors that are available to us in most beef breeds. Things like heifer pregnancy, mature cow size, uh, some bioeconomic indices for dollar weaning, dollar maternal, as well as milk EPDs, uh, calving ease maternal, all things that we can take into consideration that if we put the right selection pressure on a lot of those genetic values, it helps us over time develop a cow herd that fits our environment and literally results in weaning off more pounds of calves relative to the pounds of cows that we are maintaining on an annual basis. And so weaning time's a good time to get data. Reproductive efficiency is a critically important trait in the cow-calf sector. And doing some of that math and looking at some of those equations that are in chapter four of the most recent edition of the beef manual are informative to us to help us do a better job of managing cows for optimum reproductive efficiency as well as selecting for bulls that are gonna sire daughters that end up being more productive and accomplish a lot of these goals that lead to increased profit potential. And at a time when we know we're low on cow inventory and we're trying to hang on to the cows we have to capitalize on this robust market, it's important that we still keep an eye on the future and think about what we can do better to increase that profit potential in our cow-calf operation. Reproductive efficiency, always important to consider. Thanks for joining us this week on Cow-Calf Corner.